All right, guys, I'm going to make this quick video because I get a lot of questions about thermal bridging because I talk a lot about um, on my off grid build. Um, I'm trying to remove the thermal bridge uh, of my framing members and people are like, what's thermal bridging? So I'm going to explain to you very simple here with a diagram from fine home building. Uh, thermal bridging is basically the transfer of heat from one side of a item to another side, right? This could happen in two by fours, two by six metal. Um, you know, really anything, anything that can take heat from the outside and transfer it through that member like a bridge and, 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 and transport it to the other side. So um, if you guys don't, um, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos of these, just explaining some things. Um, I explain things in a very simplistic way because that's how I understand. I'm still learning all the aspects, all the aspects of building science, all the aspects of really anything. I don't know everything. As a matter of fact, I don't know much. But as I'm educating, as I'm learning myself, I'm trying to teach and bring other people with me. So um, if you would like, please subscribe. If you don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram, go check it out. Um, I post there regularly all the time with tons of different content and all that different stuff. So definitely go check that out. But thermal bridging, like I just said, the transfer of heat from one side to another. So here's a great diagram from Fine Home Building. You can see here um, the heat transfers through that framing member and goes to the exterior or vice versa, depending on if it's hot outside or if it's cold outside. Um, now, our homes are made up of about 27% lumber. So when you have insulation, let's say you do two by four framing and you have R15 in your cavities, that's great, but your wall R value is not R13, just that cavity. But then 27% of your home is wood, right? Which is a thermal bridge, which I think is R1 per inch. So if you have a two by four, that's only R3. That means things are gonna be, heat's gonna be traveling in and out of that. So removing that thermal bridge, which would be by, you know, you could do that by putting insulation on the exterior of your home. You could do that by getting a T-stud, which is a different kind of stud that has a thermal break there in the middle of the, of the stud. Um, there's many other ways that you can create a thermal break so that there's no longer a bridge for the heat to transfer from outside to inside or vice versa. Thermal bridging is really important. Building science and, and builders are starting to become a lot more savvy to this. Just because you move up two by six framing, stuff your cavities with R21, doesn't mean you have an R21 R value. Um, there's many ways to build more efficiently. And I truly believe it starts with trying to break as many thermal bridges um, in your home, in your build as possible. Um, and when you start getting to uh, a really high level of building, you'll start breaking those thermal bridges, not only on the walls, but um, on your roof. Because if you think about how much heat your roof gets with you know, the direct sun with shingles, there's a lot of heat going up there and it's gonna transfer through, for, through all your framing members and end up in your conditioned space, which is not efficient. So that's a simple breakdown of what thermal bridging is. I hope that helps somebody. If it did, please subscribe to, um, sorry, I lost my audio there for a second. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to. Um, I will see you guys on the next video. And if you have a question or a concern or maybe input teaching me something, leave it in the comments. If you want me to do a video on a question you have, leave it in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer that for you um, or go over to my TikTok, Instagram, whatever else. I appreciate y'all. Much love and you guys have a good one.